Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use Format Painter in Excel. Here I have two cells. I have this cell here where it has been formatted. So you can see that there is a background color. There is a thick outline border and the content in the cell, the value has been formatted in the accounting format. So it has this dollar sign along with two decimal places. Now I have this cell here which has this value 200 and I want to apply the same format. Now I can select the cell and, and do this one by one by giving it a color uh, border and the accounting format or I can copy the format from here and paste it here. So to do that I would select this cell I would go to the home tab and here I have format painter within clipboard. I would simply click on it and as soon as I do this you can see that the cursor changes. Now the cursor has this paintbrush sign. I would go to the cell that I want to format and simply click on it. And as soon as I do this, you can see that the formatting is now the same. The value doesn't change. It's only the formatting that is copied. Now let's have a look at another example. Here I have this data with student names. They're scored in math, chemistry and physics. Now these two columns have been formatted, but this one has not been. So maybe you're working with, th with this data and uh, there's this additional data that come in and you have to apply the same formatting. So to do that, you can simply select any of the columns from which you want to copy the formatting. Again, go to Format Painter and click here. And as soon as I click here, it will apply the same formatting. Now let's see another example here. I have the same data set, but in this case, apart from the normal formatting, which is uh, this, this color and the bold, uh, bold text and the border, I would also apply conditional formatting. So I would select these cells. I would go to the home tab and here in conditional formatting, I would say, let's highlight cells that are greater than, let's say, 80. So the score is greater than 80 and I would highlight these cells in green. And at the same time, we would also highlight cells which are less than 35 in red. So now I have this formatting applied. This could be useful if you are a teacher and you're looking for students who have failed in one or both of both the subjects. And now I can also copy the conditional formatting along with the other formatting, which would be uh, the bold text border and color shading. So to do that, I would simply select this again, go to format painter and click here. And as soon as I do this, you can see that the same formatting has been applied and the conditional formatting has also been applied. So you can also copy conditional formatting using format painter. Another thing that I want to show you is let me press control Z and let's say I have this data here and I have this data here as well as here. So now I want to apply this formatting on all these three columns. Instead of do selecting this and going to format painter again and again, what you can do is you can select this entire thing, go to format painter, but instead of a single left click, press twice. So click twice. And when I do that, you can see that now this, this icon, this cursor would be active even when I apply the formatting here. So for example, if I click here, it doesn't go away. It's still active and this would remain active until I hit the escape key or I click on this again. And when I do that, it will now become the normal cursor that I do. You can also use this format painter with shapes here. So in this case, I have this formatted text. I inserted the shape and then I applied some changes. I uh, changed the color of the text. I changed uh, the background color and I can copy this and paste it to another shape here. So I would select this again, go to format painter. And now when I have this, I would come here and I would select the edge of this shape. And when I do this, you can see it has been copied. So the formatting has been copied. Obviously the text would not change. The values in the cells would not change. It would only copy the formatting. So this is how you can use format painter to copy formatting as well as conditional formatting from cells or from shapes. Remember, you would not be able to copy the formatting of a chart using format painter for that. You would have to use paste special. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.